Hi, this is Chris Terrell. Today I'm going to be doing a code on the count if function. Uh, I've created a function here. Um, these are pretty simple. It's just basically a random number times a thousand turned into an integer. Um, so it's going to change every time I recalculate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equals count if. And you got to put in your range, which is this right here. We're going to do a range that is greater than 400. We're going to end that. And there's your count, which gives you six that are greater than 400. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this in code. We're going to go to the back end. We're going to open up a module. We're going to call this function count if code. And we've got to send it variables. So the first one's going to be RNG. We're going to make that a variable as range. Then we're going to do another one that we're going to call this crit which is going to be the criteria we're just going to do that as a string which is just a text of as str and there we go so there's our variables notice that pops in first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little loop that goes through each cell within the range so we're going to go for each cl in rng and that's just a little loop that's going to go through every cell within them. Now we're counting, so we're going to set up the, the, our variable cnt. That's going to be our count. We're going to make that equal to zero. And then we're going to, we're going, what we need to do now is we need to turn that. We're going to do s as another variable is equal to cl, which is going to be the actual cell within the range. And we're going to and CRIT, which basically what that's going to do, if we can undo it here, what that's going to do is that's going to turn that into a string. Now what we have to do is we have to do a test, which is another function. We're going to evaluate S. And I'm looking there, eval. Spelled that wrong. Okay, yeah, I was looking for it to capitalize there. Uh, it's one of the nice things about code is if you spell it wrong, it it will not capul cap uh, will not capitalize. So now all we need is an if if tst equals true, then cnt equals cnt plus one, and if and then all we have to do is return our count if code equals cnt. So now all we need to do is just test this. I'm going to put a little stop there, a click right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this code. So now all we have to do is go back to our go back to our Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to go equals count. Notice it populates. Remember that first section is the range. We're going to do comma. And then we're going to do greater than 400. And we're going to see if this works. I'm going to hit enter. And what we'll do is we'll actually get to see what happens. So cell 1 within my range is equal to CL. So it's going to be CL. It's got to be greater than my criteria. It's going to convert that to a string. And it's going to test is 396 greater than 400. Test is going to come back as false. It's not going to count. It's going to go through. Now let's see what we have here. We've got test. It's not greater than 330, so it's going to pass there as well. Now 900 is definitely greater than 30, so we're actually going to count. And it's going to go through all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and undo this. We're going to hit F5 to go through. Now we're going to go back. Notice it's 8. Now since these are since these are variables, we can actually switch these up and uh, we can recalculate these. So, and notice that it, it is equal, the count if is equal to the count if code. You now know how count if works on the back end. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.